Hi everyone, welcome back to Succulent Crab Care. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about hermit crabs and the process of molting. So if you're worried about molting, if you don't know what molting is, all of that, this is the video for you. So what is molting? According to hermitcrabpatch.com, molting is the process by which a hermit crab grows. It involves shedding of the exoskeleton and for a short time afterward, the crab is unable to move until it regains muscle control and the new exoskeleton hardens up. Basically, in short, what this is saying is hermit crabs shed their skin, like most crustaceans. So, molting usually happens every 18 months for most hermit crabs, but it might happen between longer periods of time or shorter periods of time based on the size of the hermit crab or even the environment that the hermit crab's in. If it's in a bad environment, it might not molt at all, and if it's in a good environment, then it will definitely molt properly. All you need to make sure you have is the perfect environment for your hermit crab, and this is very easy to have. What you're going to need is three to four inches of substrate, preferably eco-earth, which you can find at your local pet store. It's the best substrate to use, it's coconut fiber, and it's perfectly natural and healthy, and it keeps the smell good in your cage. It's really cheap too, and it's really great for your crabs. You're also going to make sure that you have the correct humidity in your hermit crab tank and you can keep that humidity by spraying down the tank every single day as many times as possible to keep that humidity up, make sure it's nice and warm and moist inside your hermit crab's cage and that they're comfortable. Make sure that you keep your crab's cage between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity should be 70% to 80%. You might be asking, how do I know if my crab is going to molt? You can tell with their appearance and their activity. If a crab is getting ready to molt, they might have a gray, dull, chalky looking appearance and they might be a little bit less active than they usually are. The molting process usually lasts around one to two months, so if you have a larger crab, the molting process might be longer than that and if you have a smaller crab, it might be shorter. A great way to prepare your hermit crab for their molt is to have them in a dark environment if you feel that they're ready to molt and make sure that the moisture is the same as it usually is make sure that it's nice and moist that they can dig and feel comfortable the last thing you need to remember when your hermit crab is molting is to have plenty of shells that are smaller and larger than their actual size of their shell make sure if you're handling your crab after their molt that you're being very gentle because their exoskeleton is still hardening Following all of these steps, your crab is guaranteed to have a wonderful molt, but if something does go wrong, make sure to check on your crab. Just be really gentle. For instance, if the cage starts to smell bad, or if it lasts a lot longer than two months, make sure to check if your hermit crab didn't die. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That was the complete guide on how to take care of your hermit crab while it's molting. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys!